And here we go, we're getting right into game number one. Bug Doctor on Mega Man, Scubs on Cloud. Three, two, one, go! Couple of illuminating answers from chat so far. So Bug Doctor starts off right away with the metal, tossed metal blade into fair. doing a really good job so far of putting his projectiles in the right spots and stymieing Scubs' approach options. But then right here, as soon as Scubs gets one of those landing fares or landing back airs, he just takes it so far. Bug Doctor takes 75%. Excellent use of the limit um, blade beam there. Oh, single hit cross slash into uh, Blade Beam. Creative combo there from Scubs. Catches Bug Doctor Script with that Blade Beam, and now he's got a ledge trap situation. Scubs definitely stealing back total control on this first stock here. Good grab after that landing fair. Bug Doctor at 148. It'll take one more. Strong swing of that Buster Sword, I think, for Bug Doctor loses first stock, but instead it's actually going to be Scubs who drops a stock first. Bug Doctor places that Z Drop Metal Blade in the right spot. Climb Hazard gets stage spiked, and then there we go. Scubs takes the up smash, and we're at a, a relatively even game. Just 21% separating these two players. Two of the most consistently excellent players that we've had during this Wi Fi circuit. It's only fitting that they play each other at this stage. So both players are getting some hits in. Scubs is just in general, I think, getting a little bit more in advantage state. Which tends to which is definitely, you know, the Scubs special. His punish game is renowned for you know being refined and, and extremely deadly with this cloud. Mm-hmm. That hard knuckle trades with an air. Very interesting interaction. And Scubs gets, gets himself out of a sticky situation with that uh, early climb hazard, lands on stage safely, and pushes Bug Doctor away. Honestly, Bug Doctor had no choice there. I think that um, the limit cross slash would have broken shield if he'd held on, and he wouldn't have had time to roll away because of the um, frame advantage of cross slash. So he just dropped his shield and got hit. Drag down back here. Scubs reacts to it perfectly and just up B safely to ledge. Hard Knuckle gets Scubs off stage, but Bug Doctor can't get the ledge trap with the F Smash and actually eats a little bit more damage for his troubles. Scubs playing very evasively right now. He's getting away from a number of different traps that Bug Doctor is throwing his way. Back air intercepting the aerial drift. Has to air dodge. Perfectly timed up B. Doesn't get hit by the F Smash. And now Scubs at 161. This is good for Bug Doctor because if he gets a grab near one of the ledges, back throw should kill. But at the same time, a Scubs with Rage is an even scarier Scubs than <laughs> what you'd normally expect. And now it's Rage Scubs with Limit. So Bug Doctor's definitely going to be on notice if he doesn't do something impactful right away. As he does right there, he gets a back air. Um, deprives Cole of his Limit. Puts on a bit of damage with the Leaf Shield, but then he's sent off stage with the down air. Good trump into Nair. Aggressive option off the ledge from Bug Doctor gets him out of a sticky situation. But he's going to have to do some some substantial damage really quickly. The Scubs is kind of just hunting for him right now. Hunting for some sort of defensive option. And there it is. Broken Shield with the Limit Blade Beam into a fully charged F Smash as the Punish. F Smash as the Punish. And we're one. Hello. Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> oh, I was echoing. My bad.
I can hear you, Dunk. I can hear you on the stream, but I can't hear you in the call. Three, two, one, I can now hear you in the call, yes. Nice. All right. And we're into game oh, two. Yes. Pretty interesting game one. You know, they were going back and forth for a while, but every time Scuffs got limit, it just got so much harder for Bug Doctor. Not surprised to see a reprise of, of uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 for game number two. Seemed like both players were getting what they wanted a lot of the time. It's just Scubs yeah. was getting a little bit more, like mm -hmm. I said, off of his neutral wins than Bug Doctor was. Maybe Bug Doctor should want more off of his neutral wins. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> if they're both getting what they wanted, should maybe be looking for a little bit more. And thus far, that hasn't been the case for Bug Doctor, unfortunately. Loses that stock super early. You know, it never really has been. And I would... um, Bug Doctor was never one to look for much more than what he knows he can get, you know? It's true, yeah. And that's... You know, he's... he's it's he's a virtue as much to, as it's a uh, yeah. drawback. A vice, yeah. Like, he's very committed to his playing style, and it works out tremendously well for him a lot of the time. Yeah, there are situations like that where if he's going even in neutral with people, the advantage state tends to be lacking a bit. But, you yeah. know, he gets that stock off with the F smash. He's not in the worst position of all time no, here. No, no. Lord knows many people have been in much worse positions against Scubs. True. Earlier in this tournament, we saw a couple of body bag sets in Scubs' pool. I heard. It was, uh... <laughs> Upset about the contents of yeah. his pool or something along those lines. Something like that, maybe. You know, one of those one of the characters in his pool killed one of his cats or something. I don't know. <laughs> nice catch with that back air there, and then just run off fair for the edge guard. Bug so Doctor takes lead in game number two. I thought and that evens uh, it up. I thought that the up throw, I thought that up throw would transfer the crash bomber back to Bug Doctor. <laughs> but I guess it didn't. That would have been why genius. That's why Bug Doctor has a small bit of extra credit. <clears throat> oh, catches the air dodge with that F smash. Oh, the pellet <laughs> to cancel the cross slash. <laughs> it works. Down tilt two frame. Oh, this has got to be F tilt. Yeah. Got to air dodge. Oh, he doesn't air yeah. dodge. He didn't have either of his resources there. Oh, nope. Yeah, they were. <laughs> so yeah, two. Um, you know, they were they were tense games in some spots, but overall, I think Scubs has to be feeling pretty confident about his chances to move on to winners finals. It feels like every time that he got Bug Doctor into advantage, he was getting the follow ups and and strings that he wanted, and just capitalizing so well as we've come to expect from him. So into game three, back on PS2. I think they both know that stage probably isn't going to play a huge factor here. Yeah, I mean, they both it's been just back go for and the forth thing, both and, games. Yeah. They don't seem to have strayed too far away from their typical, you know, plan in neutral. No. And that's okay. Oh, there we go. Gets one of those drag down back there setups like I was talking about. Mm-hmm in the previous set. How will Scubs use Limit here? Will he run off and go for Cross Slash? Okay, he reads uh, an early up B, I guess, with Blade Beam. Another oh, charged oh, up smash. Catches the fair with the up smash. That up smash is crazy now, honestly. Bug Doctor goes for a second F smash, but Scubs wisely jumps over it. Goes for Blade Beam again. I, I wonder 
if there's something else that he could be doing with his limit there. They're just in situations where Bug Doctor's playing around that platform with pellets. Yeah. I guarantee that that F-Smash was not uh, the desired input. Oh! That F-Smash sure was, though. Definitely, yeah. And again, like, this is definitely not out of reach by any means. We're seeing Scubs generally controlling the neutral, but Bug Doctor's not far behind. Just have to see if he can, like we said, capitalize on his advantage state a bit better, and then limit Scubs from doing the same thing. Speaking of limit Scubs... Oh, just get through it. Oh, that back air. Yeah. Costly, costly mistake on the DI. I mean, I don't know if any DI would have saved him there, but... That DI certainly wasn't the answer. <clears throat> Catches the jump with the Throne Leaf Shield. Parries the Metal Blade. Always a cool looking parry. Calls out the oh, jump. Oh, calls out the jump. Yep. Very good. <clears throat> bit of an ambitious F smash. Gets punished. A little, a little bit of bit. greed. He has no jump. Okay, finally, the he has advantage no jump state again. that Bunker there we needs, go. needs to have had this whole set if he wants to win. You know, if he can edge guard like that the whole time. On every... mm -hmm. It seemed like that time. Scubs was a little bit preemptive on most of his air dodges, and that gave Bug Doctor ample time to react. I'm not sure if he'll make the. Yeah, I'm sure that he'll, you know, switch something up next time he's off stage. Absolutely. How will Bug Doctor if get off he's the ledge off stage here, especially time. since Scubs? True. Especially if Scubs has limit. Bug Doctor drifts away. And there it is. And that is a 3 0. For Very good catch. Scubs punches his ticket into winner's finals.